the birth mom couldn't feed a baby for last four to five weeks. My fridge is full of my meal, you know. Haven't fed a baby for five weeks. That woman holding baby awkward way. Is it right? Baby needs me. Baby was a, the moment she was born until now she was with me. I, I thought I, I, my husband is living in the apartment alone, but actually not. She said that the woman is in the apartment, so they are living together. That day when I give birth alone, that's the day that confirmed that he's with, he, with her. Then uh, later found out that that woman is in the house. They have a barbecue party. She slept on my bed. So you're a Korean? Yes, I'm Korean. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you uh, for inviting me. Yes. Uh, I saw your video uh, on TikTok. Eh? Mm -hmm. So your name is Amy. Yes, right. Amy. My English is name it is okay Amy. to yes. say your name? Yeah. All right. And that is? Dafina. Dafina. All right. So it's viral on TikTok right now what's happening to you. Mm -hmm. So we want to know every everything that you want to share to us all right so you can start to tell the story okay all right all right so basically i decide to make my own video and let the people know about my story because um i need to get back my kids yeah i have a four kids and especially my youngest one is now four months old mm -hmm. uh, so uh, 21st of january my husband uh, tricked me because now me and my husband are living in uh, different places. Mm -hmm. He's uh, holding my three other kids with his mistress mm -hmm. and I'm in uh, another apartment with my newborn. So we usually okay. do the arrangement like he wanted to see the baby, then I send over the baby, then he will send over the uh, elder kids. So the 21st of January, uh, about 10 plus, he texts me that I want to see the baby, send over the baby. Mm. Uh, when the kids finish the homework, then um, maybe they will, uh, they will go over. So I happily sent over, my mother-in-law came and picked up the baby. Mm -hmm. Then I waited for my boys to come over, but whole afternoon they didn't come. So uh, about the evening time, I text him back that uh, the baby milk time overdue. Uh, so when is the baby coming back? Mm. He didn't reply me. He didn't reply me. Then about six plus, he and his father and his uh, company lawyer came yeah. to my apartment. The time uh, me and Davina was in the apartment. Mm. Yeah. Then they came in. Then uh, he asked me to wait. He's a corporate lawyer. Go and talk to her. Mm. Then. He suddenly sack her, fired her. I didn't know what's the reason. Then I was like, hmm, what's going on? So I'm sorry, mm. I, I have to cut it first. Mm. Davina is working for? My husband. Oh, so you work for her husband? Yeah. Okay, okay, continue. Uh, okay, so that some clarification is, uh, uh, so she was uh, my husband, uh, the assistant, right? Assistant? Yeah. So when I uh, chased out from the family house, mm. Uh, there is a one helper uh, followed me to the apartment. Okay. So me, helper, and the baby was uh, living in the apartment. Okay. But after one week, he fired her. Okay. Yeah. So I was alone with the baby. Okay. So he asked her to stay with me uh -uh. and eye on me. Uh -uh. And then he fired then he 21st of January he fired her. The the reason is he told me that did you order the blank magic to her oh. to try to kill me and uh, uh, his mistress. Uh, I was like, what are you talking about? So she being yeah. accused, uh, she using being accused a black as magic. A witch. Oh, tapi kan kamu orang Indonesia ya, yeah. jadi bisa bahasa Indonesia. Jadi kamu dituduh uh, dukun gitu ya? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Lanjut dulu, lanjut dulu. Yeah. Uh, you can continue yeah. again. Okay. Can I mention about what the lawyer told oh, you? Oh, no need. Later. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, 
Suddenly he fired her. Mm -hmm. Then she need to pack and leave. Then after she left, he sit down and talk to me and like accuse me that you ordered a blank magic through mm -hmm. her, mm -hmm. trying to hurt me and my mistress. Mm -hmm. And uh, the whole family, uh, she's been poisoning the family food. So whole family got affected and he got these millions to uh, kind of search the house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's total nonsense that I was like, what are you talking about? And I don't know how to re react to it. Yeah, yeah. Then at the end, I was like, so when the baby is coming back, they say, no, you did a, such a things and baby, the median said baby, baby's soul left just a, a very little bit mm. because of this blank magic. Yeah. My baby was happy with me until that day morning, every morning smiling. Before that day, just a few days before, we went to hospital for the vaccination. Yeah. That time, doctor already told me she is growing so well, put on weight so much, yeah. growing so well. And I texted him. He said, uh, thank you for taking care of a baby well. Then now you are telling me that because of blank magic, baby's uh, soul is uh, so fragmented and uh, ba baby is better uh, safe with me. Okay, so. Yeah. So the point that I got is mm. uh, your husband, ex-husband or husband now? Uh, still husband because still it happened divorce. He haven't divorced me, but he got the mistress and he kicked me out of the family house. Okay. And okay. so basically he and his mistress is living with my three elder kids and his parents in the yeah. family house yeah. until 21st of January. So he used the, uh, the, uh, the black magic issue to get to, the baby to get the baby yeah. and then accuse uh, Davina as the person who performed the black yeah. magic and then uh, he has a mis mistress yeah yes you call it mistress yeah yeah uh, it's, uh, yeah, yeah mistress yeah oke okay. kita dengar dulu versi Davina dulu uh, biar orang Indo ini bisa agak sedikit paham deh ini hmm. ceritanya mereka ini orang yang betul kan orang Korea kan yeah. suaminya orang Singapura, Singapura. kan hmm. so dia sekarang ada di Indonesia karena suaminya itu ditugaskan ditugaskan di sini ya, di penempatannya kan? di sini bener kan gua yeah. dan gua lihat di profiling suaminya bukan orang sembarangan nih hmm. betul kan <laughs> yeah. oke okay. lu boleh cerita maksudnya pernikahan mereka kenapa sih gini uh, aku tuh kan di hire hmm. itu Officially work itu uh, secara resmi kerja itu di tanggal 6 November. Yeah. Uh, interviewnya itu sekitar kurang lebih dua minggu sebelumnya. Yes. Jadi interview segala macam, interview interviewnya pun di dia sewa private room lah di yeah. uh, salah satu restoran. Ngobrol 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 ngobrol. Dia udah kasih tahu job desa aku adalah salah satunya manajemen anak. Mm -hmm. uh, jadi kalau misalnya harus pergi ke sekolah mm -hmm. dan pertemuan orang tua, aku yang akan mewakili karena dia bilang dia mau cerai dengan istrinya. Saat oh. itu, oh. Uh, pas hari itu tanggal 6, aku kerja kan pertama kali. Uh, kerjanya itu kebetulan memang banyaknya WFH. Mm -hmm. Nah, pertama kali aku udah uh, udah sampai lah di lokasi, dikabarin. Dikabarin, aku, ah oh, sorry aku kabarin, habis itu dia bilang, oh bentar dijemput, naiklah ke apartemen. Yeah. Di situ aku pertama kali ngeliat, uh, dia pertama kali ngeliat si perempuannya. Uh, selingkuhannya, ini. selingkuhannya, selingkuhannya. Di situ, yes. di situ aku mikir itu istrinya. Yeah. Di situ aku mikir itu istrinya. Oh jadi belum belum ketemu. Belum belum oh, belum. Okay. Jadi aku mikir, oh, karena mau pisah. Tapi kok ada koper kayak habis liburan bareng. Ah tapi udahlah nggak urusanku. Karena oh. prinsipku nggak okay. urusanku. Aku kerja sama suaminya. Jadi urusan pribadinya aku nggak nggak urus. Nah dia jelasin lah dia jelasin. Bikin nih pohon keluarganya si ini si ini si ini si ini. Oh dari situ aku tahu. Oh bukan ini orangnya. Istrinya tuh ada lagi. Ada istrinya. Ini bukan istri karena dia bilang. Oke, okay. uh, dia punya panggilan sayang sih, boleh aku sebut panggilan sayangnya aja gak sih? Iya, apa -apa. Kan gak, di B, dia panggilnya B, panggilnya B. Lagian juga kan maksudnya, uh, Baby. B, 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 lebah. B. Oh, Hani. B, lebah, Hani B. Lebah. Itu, jadi, uh, B, uh, oke, okay, I'm gonna put her as F, W, future wife. Future wife. Yeah, kayak gitu. Nah, saat dia menjelaskan bayi, itu dia bilang, uh, Y, X, the, the baby, the baby, the baby, the baby. This baby, this baby, terus aku bilang, is the baby is yours. Jadi aku kayak penasaran, aku mungkin agak terlalu spontan sih. Aku bilang, ini anak lu bukan sih? Gue juga ragu. Dia ngomong kayak gitu. Oh, oke. Okay. Oke, okay. oh, tapi bagiku, buat aku gini, ya gak urusan, buat aku gak urusan. Udah dia ngejelasin, ngejelasin. Aku ketemu Ibu Ami itu pertama kali di tanggal 8. 
pas aku ke rumah. Okay. Akhirnya kamu ke rumah ketemu Ami untuk uh, delegasi lah, delegasi email anak-anak dan sebagainya untuk urusan pekerjaan. Hmm. Ketemulah, baru ketemu bayi pertama kali di situ. Hmm. Nah, tugas pertama aku dari uh, suaminya itu adalah cari apartemen. Hmm. Karena per tanggal 28, pokoknya harus cari apartemen di tanggal 24, hmm. udah harus dapat karena uh, istrinya mau dipindahin. Uh, Uh, jadi Ami tinggal di apartemen, nanti gue sama Bi ke rumah. Oh, selingkuhannya? Iya, hmm. ti- untuk pindah ke rumah. Hmm. Uh, dia sama si bayi lah, intinya dia sama si bayi untuk angkat kaki dari situ. Hmm. Ya, dan terjadi beneran, beneran terjadi. Jadi istilahnya diusir secara... Beneran terjadi. Oh, iya. Sebenarnya nggak tahu sih, sebenarnya secara nggak langsung itu pindah paksa sih sebenarnya. Karena dia menolak kan. Iya. Yeah. Kan dia menolak. Aku okay. tiga, hari, tiga hari ketemu dia, dia tuh bu, bu Ami tuh selalu pas ngobrol sama aku selalu tak kayak orang takut gitu loh, kayak orang takutnya kayak uh, takut mungkin kayak aku lapor ke bapak atau gimana. Kalau buat aku uh, urusan aku sama kerjaan aku sama bapak, kerja, urusan obrolan aku sama bu Ami kan itu ya nggak harus aku campur adukin. Ya memang iya. Gak, gak, gak penting uh, lah buat bener, aku urusan bener. pribadi. Uh-huh. Tapi kan dia selalu kayak orang takut, kayak orang takut. Akhirnya aku sekali waktu aku ngomong, ma'am, I know, you know, need to be scared of me. I'm not gonna tell anything. So. Baru dari situ mulai cerita. Oke. Okay. Kalau dia takutnya biasanya kenapa sebenarnya? Dia takut dipisahin sama anak. Kalau yang okay. uh, pindah ya, kalau yeah. untuk keluar dari rumah yang ditakutin ya itu, pisah dari anak. Oke, okay, oke. Okay. Gua akan ke Bu Ami dulu ya. Yeah. Tadi udah ada sedikit bridge. So, um, what I know about your relationship. Hmm. So, your husband is um, he's a Singaporean and yes. then you're Korean. Yes. And then your kids, you have a four kids, yes, am I right? right. Yeah. The the number number four is still up. Breath wait, wait, yes. Yes. yes, yes, yes. When they took away my baby, yeah. baby was like a two month and two weeks old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Full breastfeeding baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All my four kids, they refused to drink the bottle and milk powder. So my first one, I almost breastfed her like a 30, 30 months. Mm. Second one also one year plus. Third one until two year plus. So this one also, uh, when you know we trying to feed the uh, the bottles, but she left you. Yes, yes, yes. So. So what we want to know what is happening with your marriage the, life? Uh, I mean, I mean your husband is is a Singaporean and you yeah. you, you're Korean. Yeah. Right? Am I right? Yeah. And then you have a kids, which is your kids is they are Singaporean. Yeah, they are Singaporean. The nationality is Singaporean. And then you live in Indonesia, right. and your husband has an affair. With a Indonesian right. uh, artist katanya ya. Katanya. Artis apa ya, Masa dia berjaya gitu ya? jadi artis aku nggak tahu <laughs> yeah. sejujurnya. Tapi uh, ya memang. Inisial apa? T.E. Iya. Yeah. Yeah. So what happened with the marriage life? I mean you yeah. want to share it or no? Yeah, I, I can share. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can open up everything. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Uh, last year was our 15th wedding anniversary. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I married, we married 2009. Yes. I met him in a school, uh, both of us in the Nas- NUS, National University oh, of Singapore, University. in the same same major, okay. yeah. So they did happily, fell in love, happily married, have a four, ki- uh, okay, three kids in Singapore, right? Yeah. The fourth case I have it here. Um, yeah, the character wise, there's a not 100% compatible, right? Yeah. But We had a happy marriage until yeah, yeah. until about 2021. Until he start to come to Indonesia, so his company assigned him uh, business development for mm-hmm. Indonesia. So uh, with the kids and my in-laws so all together, is a big family. So uh, immediately following him will be difficult. Yeah. And uh, for uh, considering his education. We decide uh, we stay in uh, Singapore. He travel back and forth okay. between the Indonesia and Singapore. Um, so yeah, it was like uh, the every month or every other month he uh, come back to Indonesia do the business. Oh. So good married life, yeah. Yeah, it was balanced. I'm uh, yeah. I'm also a working mom. I have uh, my business yeah. in uh, Singapore, yeah, my yeah, company, yeah. and my in laws uh, from beginning of the marriage we live. whole our life together. Mm-hmm. They are great help. They help me to take care of my kids when I go for business trip and my clients from Korea coming to Singapore, they are the one looking after my kids. So 
I thought we are having happy. Yeah, no yeah, mis- no mi- mi- mistress, mistress, no mistress for 15 years. Yeah, that's what I believe. But now I don't know. So you found mm. out your husband has a mistress from Indonesia, which is uh, she's from Indonesia. Yeah, so that's that one is uh, I only found out after I came down here. We whole family moved here uh, end of uh, last week of November 2022. Yeah. Yeah. So we uh, clear out all our Singapore assets whatsoever. Then we whole family moved here, mm. even my in-laws. Yeah. Okay. Then I saw her for the first time at the airport. She was waiting for us with the two cars to pick up, uh, pick us up. Uh, okay. My husband introduced me for the first time. This is my PA. Okay. Uh, then the, you know, the woman's uh, instinct. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. so I was like, mm, okay, okay, PA. But he doesn't look like PA. Sorry, it's a... Maybe my feeling, yeah, yeah, but your instinct, your yeah, instinct, instinct, woman instinct. Like okay, PA. Then I realized that she cannot speak English. Oh, the uh, the 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 woman cannot speak English. Her English is very limited. Very limited. Yeah, and so I was like, you, your company is a big company, global company. Yes. You hire the PA. Someone cannot speak English. Ah, yeah, I was yeah. like, hmm, interesting. Maybe. <laughs> The local things she needs to <laughs> help, you know. But then, how do you communicate? Okay. Th- that yeah. was like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, my passion. But then, anyway, he he said she's been helping us to get the house and preparing everything for the family to settle in. So I should be appreciate her, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. So she is the one found the family house. She's the one arranged the cleaner to clean so that mm. when we arrive, it's just nicely get in. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then after that, yeah, she's most of the time in our house uh, helping him to do the business. Oh, the PA. Yeah. yeah the, I, I thought it does a PA job, but I never seen her using the computer though. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, then there's a bit odd things up and down. He's too care, too, too much care about her. Okay. And uh, we are all new, right? So, and uh, there's a communicate, uh, the language barriers and yeah. we can't speak Bahasa. So my in-laws need to find a certain flower to pray. They, they are Buddhist. Yeah. So they wanted to find a kind of jasmine flowers and here and there. Yeah. Uh, I try to use the Tokopedia, but there is a language barrier. So. Uh, we from time to time just a text her or when you see her, ask her, can you help us to find these and that. Mm. Then there is a time that he suddenly came back home from the meeting. Then he scold me and my father-in-law. You cannot treat her like that. She is not the helper. She is my PA out of nowhere. So we are like, why are you so angry? So the reason being that may, we are guessing that maybe she complained to him that we are asking her to help us yeah, do yeah, too yeah, many yeah. things. Because you thought she's a PA. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I thought that kind of things are yes, PA yeah, job. Yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that day is really particularly we are asking for the flower that we can mm. use it for praying. Mm. So my father-in-law and I got shocked. Like, why is he so angry? Yeah, why? Yeah. Then there is a certain point that it feels weird how he protect her or yeah. you know then he even uh, so she lived in the same uh, the apartment area our house is like kind of a big uh, three four story house and she's staying in the apartment next door it's uh, like oh, walking it's distance very, five, five very minutes close from your house yeah, yeah. Mm. one area oh one yeah, area, one area. area. Okay. yeah uh, then he said that he will go to her apartment to mm. have a meeting calls because at home uh, the kids are here, so it's too noisy. He cannot focus on oh, the okay. work, so he go to her apartment to do the work. Uh, so I was like, oh, "You don't have office. Uh, they haven't set up the offices. Uh, okay. The company haven't set up the office. So okay. he go to her place mm-hmm. to do the call, and he like a." Sp- uh, a lot of time is spent time there, yeah. So basically, he said he's uh, doing work there. Okay. Yeah, but then, uh, as a wife, you are going to the PA's house. You feel weird, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I trust him. Yeah. But then there's times that uh, when they went out for the meeting, came back, then 
uh, we prepare the dinner, right? Then he said, oh, she she haven't had a dinner. Mm -hmm. uh, ask the helpers to pack the dinner mm -hmm. for, for her and send over to her apartment. Oh. Yeah, he was such a caring and loving boss. Yeah, very, very good boss. Yeah, very good boss. Yeah, very good boss. So I was like, wow, you really care for her. Mm -hmm. She must be really good, the PA. Yeah. Doing the job. Yeah. Yes. Uh, then, yeah, in December, uh, I happened to see some text messages between them. Oh, yeah. you showed the message. Yeah. Okay. So uh, there is inappropriate messages between in them. It's PA and boss. You don't call each other love, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, then she sent him a crying video and saying that I'm okay, you go you go back to family, spend time with a family. Uh, but I'm very sad, I don't know what to do, I just die, you know, this kind of thing, so you can, I have it. Oh, yeah. you, have a, you have the proof. Yeah, so okay. then I, uh, y you yeah. still can edit, right? So I yeah, can yeah. just... Don't just, worry, don't worry. This is we my first time, I'm venting out everything. Yeah, this yeah. is my first time for more yeah, I will than a edit year. everything that okay. you need. We, we want to edit. So uh, you want to edit. That day okay. was like uh, 27th of December 2022, around there. I suddenly wake up like 3, 4 a.m. And my gut feeling telling me that I never, my, my husband and I trust each other so much that we're sharing all the pass, yeah. password for the mobile, laptop, everything. Oh, same yeah. like here. Yeah. So uh, our trust level was uh, that deep, yeah. yeah. Then that night, that, uh, that morning I woke up, then the, the gut feeling telling me that you need to go and check the mobile, his mobile. Oh, a woman instinct. Yeah. So okay. I never done that. It's my first time in my life. I was like shivering, but I yeah, got yeah. his mobile hiding uh, under the blanket and checked. Yeah. Then I found out the message, oh, he's and he called her. I love you, and uh, you know that I'm uh, trying to figure out for us. Then you know is apparently the message between the lovers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So then, my character I can't hold, and I'm very straightforward. Mm. So whole morning I was like, what's going on? Okay. Maybe it's like, you know, the men's in the business. I have a kids. I can let it be, but need to tell him, need to come back to our family, right? Yeah. So I confronted him. Oh, that's that's good. Yeah, I saw your message. What is this? Tell me what's the exact relationship between you and her. Yeah. Then first he was furious and very angry that he only focused on how dare you touch my mobile. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. How dare you invaded my privacy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to remember these words because this is exactly what he planted in my daughter's mind. You invaded my privacy. Yeah. So I said, sorry. You can check mine anytime. But yeah. I got feeling telling me check, so I check. What is this? Then he said, "You are overthinking. Yes, she likes me. There is a walking affection." Oh, she likes. Yeah, he him. said okay. she likes him. Okay. Then he said, "I never cheat." He said, never "I cheat. never cheat." He likes me, but I need her. To do the business here. Oh, strategy. Yes, yeah. she is local. Yeah. She is a formal singer or well-connected person. Yeah, That's yeah, a yeah. how he explained to me. So, she knows a lot of uh, people that yeah. he can help his business. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then. Then stupidly, I was like, I feel angry. I cry, but okay, but I'm not comfortable with her around. Yeah. And I don't see her as a PA. Why don't you get a more proper PA? Mm. And keep her as a business partner or whatsoever. Mm. Then he said, yes, I will. I will working on it. I will interview other PA 
Yeah. Oh, okay. Because there is, I, I broke down, I cried. You fight? We never really fight, fight, fight. Slap, slap? No. No, no, no. Slap, slap. For us, it never, like, violence involved. So he's a, he's a good husband, basically. He, he was a good husband. He was a good husband. Okay. Until I find all of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He was a good husband. He is, um, he's a very smart guy. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, he's a very <laughs> If smart I see the guy. profiling of this guy, he's very yes, smart, of course. He's very smart. <laughs> That's why I fell in love. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, he's basically a uh, smart, very uh, driven. He, he's, uh, he loves kids. Yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah, he's a good guy. And yeah, so basically, I, I thought I am having, you know, mm. the good marriage life. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and then, I found and then, this. And then what happened after you... After I confronted, yeah, confront then he told me I overthinking and uh, our, me and uh, her relationship is not like that, blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah. Try but, to calm you down. Yeah, yeah, calm yeah. me down. But then over the time, even on the Christmas day... It's not the same anymore. You can see that he's... Uh, he, so on the Christmas Eve, she came to our house and cooked for the family. We tried like uh, Indonesian food. The woman? Yeah. Came to because she is a PA. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he, she always come to family house and yeah, walking. Yeah. So, but then uh, there's a still inappropriate things that keep coming up, I, which I don't understand. Yeah, yeah. Why you treat her so special? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, can't yeah. hide his love toward her. You now can. I... It, it come to think of you know yeah, yeah, yeah come to think of me yeah so um then even the countdown so our friend uh family friends came from singapore mm -hmm. with uh the my yeah kids friends and uh, the couples our friends so we are doing countdown the 31st of january so the moment that the time changed he disappeared they went together or she he went over to her to do the that exact moment i call him i text him kids are here at least you do the countdown together so that about 15 20 minutes he disappeared have you ever seen your husband with with this kind of condition before for 15 years i mean this is the first time for me it's the first time this is the first yes, time yes that's yeah. why i immediately know if something is wrong Ooh, yeah okay. that's why it's very so and i couldn't believe it and the thing is i'm the mother of a, yeah, yeah i'm the mother i never thought about my family uh, breaking into this yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's i never want come to, to your mind. i want to give my kids perfect family yeah and so, then getting worse yeah getting worse I, so i never thought about divorce I never thought about anything else. I I just told him, um, okay, let's uh, just bury it. Maybe I overthinking. I even said, okay, maybe I overthinking. Okay. Yeah. Just uh, you know, trying to resolve this mm. because it's not nice. Because I just couldn't hold. I keep crying, and kids can see it. Kids mm. can feel it. that mommy's not happy. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So. Yeah, then that's uh, that's where my first helper, who was Indonesian also, she yeah. couldn't speak English much, but uh, she was very nice lady. Mm -hmm. uh, she saw me crying. Okay. Mm. Then she trying to comfort me. Okay. Yeah, but then uh, after a few, uh, she was working for just a few months. Then she kind of got fired. Fired. Yeah, because. Um, this one, how can I put it up? So, uh, total until now, total five helpers got fired. Okay, w w why he keep fire your helper? Uh, so the helpers can see it, right? Uh uh. They are also human, right? Yes, yes. I didn't do anything. I was just uh, being myself, trying to solve family problem and taking care of the family. And he keep telling me that. I am failed as a wife, I am failed as a mother. I, I damaged the kids so much that he need to fix them. So everything was my fault. So he asked me to go and fix myself. 
so being now I oh. my counselor told me that uh, I'm kind of victim of uh, gaslighting. I don't know whether you guys have heard about this gaslighting. What is gaslighting? It's something like you know there is a person who manipulate you. Oh, okay. And I'm under that influence for too long that I keep thinking that oh yeah Maybe I'm the he, problem. Oh, yeah, you're the problem. Uh, what he said is right. Okay. I need to fix myself. Okay. So I keep blaming yourself. Blaming myself. And the thing is, I'm doing my own business. So when I do my business, uh, talking to my partners is being myself. But just in front of him, I put myself so low, you know. I can't speak up. Oh. I can't fight him. And the thing is, I just don't want to show we arguing or fighting in front of the kids. Yeah. So at the end of a conversation, it's always me saying, okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Then uh, we just do what you think that is right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that was... Uh, yeah, then I, I have told him before also that because this part, this particular part came to my mind for the last few years that, you know, when he is angry, he is a very impulsive person, so easily get angry. Mm. By verbal? By verbal. Not by physical? No physical, okay. no physical at all. So what is your parents uh, talk to you about this situation? Um, okay, actually my parents didn't know until my husband texted them. Oh. I've been hiding it from my parents. Mm. I'm the only kids. Okay. I have no siblings. Okay. And my parents are in Korea. Korea? Yeah, and... Sorry. Take your time. <laughs> my... Yeah. My dad is um, going to have his heart operation because his age and his heart, uh, the bulbs are getting old, so... Yeah. And he knew about it. Mm. He knew about it. Mm -hmm. And when these things happen, mm -hmm. I told him, I thought my kids doesn't know at all. Yeah. So I told him, please, please don't tell, mm -hmm. thank you. Please, please don't tell kids yet. When we sort it out, we will talk to the kids. And also, don't, I'm not going to tell my parents, please don't tell my parents. You think about it, my parent, my dad is in his uh, 70s and waiting for his uh, heart operation. I don't know yeah, yeah, yeah. how it's going to affect him. So now the video is viral, Ev everybody knows uh, about the news. Okay, my parents are Korean and uh, they don't really understand English. Oh, so I told my cousins and my friends that do not... To protect. Protect, yeah. Uh, but uh, maybe one day they will see, but yeah, I but don't want know. them to figure out all the details because my husband, after 21st of January that things happened, I was uh, very worried that <coughs> he might hurt me because he just unreasonably accused me, blank magic, and told me that leave the kids behind, go back to Korea and cleanse yourself because you are also a uh, source of uh, these uh, blank magic things. Mm. So I'm also affected. So he, he told me to cleanse it. Oh, and yeah. I was like, how to cleanse it? You're being so guess, yeah? I'm Korean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sorry, I don't <coughs> believe in such a things. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. So. You, you, have you go to a psychiatrist? You call it psychiatrist. Yeah? I, I went to psychologist. Psychologist, yeah. Yeah. You talk about this problem. Yeah, the briefly. Yeah, yeah, I had uh, two sessions yeah. with them. What are your psychologists? Uh, basically, psychologists said I'm, because the first one was like a before gave birth. Mm -hmm. uh, the, that time I saw the psychologist because he dumped me, officially dumped me. Mm -hmm. He told me we are done. That was three weeks before I gave birth. Oh. Sorry. So he want to divorce you? He said he want to. He, uh, he said. Yeah, I asked him, so the, what's the end goal? Because uh, what he offered me is, we are done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm uh, going to stay in the apartment. Mm. Uh, after you, you can choose. Now go to Korea, give birth, stay there. Mm. Or give birth here, then uh, leave all kids with me. You can go back to Korea, 
find the uh, other guy who can put up with you. Okay. Yeah, that's exactly what I can show you the message. Okay. So, yeah. So, <laughs> being mom and this ridiculous situation, I can't accept anything, right? So I was like, that's bullshit. What are you talking about? I'm not going anywhere without my kids. What are you talking about? So I refuse. I refuse to going anywhere without my kids. And I'm going to give birth here. So, yeah, that was the first week of October. I gave birth the 27th of October. So that night, he dumped me. Then what can I do? Next day, I, I was like in shock and uh, just cry, cry. So I was looking for help. So went down to the psychologist and mm. took it up. Mm. Then the uh, psychologist said, uh, you need to calm down because you are full month of uh, pregnant yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, emotionally like you know you need to grab yourself mm. yeah uh, so that was uh, my first session I went it out to the psychologist okay. yeah but uh, she said yeah my husband words is uh, quite manipulative because it, yeah. nothing makes sense right Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I have my own uh, <laughs> judgment about that, but I, I mm -hmm. want to I want to ask Davina mm -hmm. first. Uh, Davina, kenapa lu memutuskan untuk secara tidak langsung mau bantu? Jadi gini, uh, yang aku mau bantu itu sebenarnya bukan rumah tangganya. Hmm. Buat aku nggak ada urusannya rumah tangganya sama aku. Tapi hmm. uh, yang aku bantu, aku saat itu bilang bantu, aku akan bantu cari apartemen yang dekat dan hmm. aku akan bantu. Uh, supaya anak ini anak-anak ini karena kan tadinya rencananya itu kan dia hanya tinggal sama nih permintaan awalnya itu cariin apartemen yang nggak jauh dari tempat rum dari rumah nih hmm. yang jaraknya kayak kalau naik mobil ya 10 menit hmm. jangan terlalu dekat jangan terlalu jauh hmm. intinya kayak gitu tapi aku bilang aku usahain cari apartemen yang dekat dan aku usahain bantuan aku yang aku bilang itu adalah aku pastikan anak-anak kesana setiap minggu okay. seminggu dua kali seminggu tiga kali tapi anak-anak ikut dia tuh tapi anak-anak okay. ya harus ikut bapaknya kan karena memang aturan bapaknya okay. itu yang aku bilang nah ternyata buat uh, menurut uh, bapaknya itu uh, menurut suaminya tidak ada apartemen yang cocok tidak ada apartemen yang sesuai yang, yang setara dengan apartemen yang ditinggali saat itu sama si selingkuhannya dan dia okay. akhirnya ya sudahlah apartemennya di situ mm -hmm. aku itu tadinya kos sendiri aku tuh nggak tinggal di situ mm -hmm. aku tuh kos sendiri cuman sem jadi uh, udah kos segala macam uh, pembantu setelah seminggu ya setelah seminggu itu dipecat mm -hmm. mbak sorry buka. mbak yang nemenin jadi bu ami ini tuh melahirkan sendiri bang oh. melahirkan sendiri ini aku tahu dari mbak yang nemenin Oh, Jadi aku tuh tahu lengkapnya itu justru bukan aku, mbak yang cerita sendiri uh, Bu Ami itu gave birth alone uh, yeah. She gave birth alone uh, Hari itu pas mbak itu sorry. Jadi uh, mbak bilang aku tuh yang nemenin Bu Ami melahirkan huh? Aku yang nemenin, aku bilang loh kok kamu emang kenapa? Iya hari itu Bapak bilangnya sakit pusing hmm. uh, You can tell, you can tell ya the day then, the, when So you give uh, birth when you give birth, give birth alone. Yeah. So uh, we decide to induce the baby <coughs> because baby weight is uh, three kg around, and <coughs> uh, I induced the third one as well. Sorry. <coughs> so we fix the dates to induce the baby mm. so i went to hospital like 29th mm. october mm. yeah uh, i was uh, still expecting him to go with me yeah but he didn't and the thing is uh before he told me that he will not follow me my father you know is the one that told me He, my father, you know, believed in those uh, feng shui or the Chinese, uh, the myth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there is uh, the the person master yeah. who can actually feng shui, feng shui, yeah, yeah, feng shui master, yeah. yeah, yeah. Feng shui master. Mm. <laughs> so she, uh, the there is a lady feng shui master mm. that he uh, is close. Yeah, my husband shouldn't follow me to the delivery room. It will be very bad luck for his business. 
Oh, okay. This feng shui, feng shui things, yeah. yeah. Okay, so okay. I think whether that's the truth or not, I think they set the stage. Mm. So his father told me, mm -hmm. yeah. So it's a very bad luck for him. Mm -hmm. It's not good for his business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I said it's fine then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but I still because of the first three kids, he was the one that accompanied me, stay in the hospital throughout until we discharged. Mm -hmm. Such a sweet husband, you know. Uh, yeah. While I'm in labor, holding my hands and crying together. So I was uh, still, although I say okay, if you guys believe that, then fine. But I still expecting him at least to bring me to the hospital. Yeah, right? yeah, but at least yeah, but yeah, yeah. But, but he, didn't. he didn't. Yeah, because he moved out already. He moved to the apartment first week oh, of October. Okay. Yeah, so I went to hospital with the, my one of helper. Yeah. Mm. And in labor alone, yeah. Uh, so while I'm in labor, I was like, "Oh my God, you know what's going on? Mm. I my new born baby is coming out soon." Then what happened to my life? So I just couldn't hold myself, you know. So so ah. I keep crying. Then uh, the nurses and everybody very worried. But uh, I just couldn't hold that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so I I cry. Then my helper was like, uh, she was the next to me. Then I really cried out and I told her, I didn't know what happened to my life. Do you know what's going on? Because uh, I never talked to my helpers about them. Yeah. Then she cry. break down and cry. Ma'am, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Then I, I thought uh, my husband is living in the apartment alone, but actually not. She said that the woman is in the apartment. So they are living together. Yeah. So that, that night, that day when I give birth alone, that's the day that confirmed that he's with, he, with her and their relationship is more than I expected, longer than I expected. Yeah. And that very, that moment, so I give birth 27 uh, afternoon. Then I wanted to show my kids and the family, the baby. So I call everybody, nobody pick up the phone. So I was like, Mm. Then uh, later found out that that woman is in the house. They have a barbecue party. She slept on my bed. Okay. So uh, I'm sorry about that. No, I'm uh, I'm okay. I I cry over more than a year. What is? But I can feel your f uh, what you feel. I mean, I cannot be you, but. This is a very, very ironic situation, which is your yeah. your Korean, yeah. your husband is a Singaporean, yeah. and then went out with Indonesian woman, which is this is internationally affair. <laughs> what I call it international affair. Yeah. So it's very, very confusing right now, it uh, is. especially for you. Yeah, I know. It is, it is. I know it's very confusing. Uh, I want to ask you what's going on on that video, which is there is a fight. Uh, uh, yeah, the, the kids and then the woman is yeah holding the, my baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that one is last Friday. Yes. Yeah. Um, so since they took my baby away, I trying to raise them and I trying to beg them that I, I need to feed a baby and. You know, trying to uh, yeah, uh, talk uh, it out, get back my kids. Yeah, yeah. breastfeeding. Uh, but nothing worked. Uh, so the 12th of uh, February, we had a vaccination appointment for the baby. Yeah. So I remind him a few days before mm -hmm. and also one day before. But he didn't go. He didn't go for a baby vaccination. Yeah. Then uh, I, I was like, 
uh, call the hospital checking whether the baby get the vaccination or the baby have any you know change of appointment mm. yeah so i've been uh, calling around the hospitals mm. in case he changed the hospital mm. yeah then that day i happened to uh, find out that they are going for the uh, vaccination for mm. baby mm -mm. so i rushed <coughs> to go down there oh. yeah because I, I went to uh, the police and, you know, there is uh, this KPAI, the child... Yeah, KPAI. Yeah, KPI. yeah. You went to KPAI also? Uh, I filed the report, yeah. uh, look for the help. I went to Singapore Embassy, Korean Embassy. Oh, you went, you went to... Yes, okay. yes. I, I Basically, you know, I'm here alone and I kicked out from the family. And our savings, house, kids, everything he kept... I have nothing, so I need to get the help. So th whatever I can get, mm. I have to try, mm. right? So mm. I went to the police everywhere, and there is a very kind, hot people like Debina, and there is uh, my kids, Your friend over yeah, there. the my friends and uh. The, my uh, my kids' uh, school. Parents. parents actually they are the really really great people yeah. to you yeah. know help yeah. me because they also didn't know about the situation they found out something weird that while i'm in the hospital giving word he went to school with her oh okay, yes okay. Mm. so uh everybody knows that i'm the mother and although i think my husband uh, say that she is the PA, but uh, I think they uh, didn't behave properly there. So some of the uh, parents feel weird, and the par uh, there's an event in the school, that's why they went down, but I didn't expect that he brought her to the school. So the pa parents actually uh, usually support the kids, and there will be like a group photo and things like that. Then they send the photo to me, the mummies, and ask me, Amy, uh, are you all right? And uh, do you know who is this? <laughs> you know, these kind of things. And even my kids, you know, the friends feel weird. So that's how I knew that he brought the woman to the school. Mm. Yeah. And I never talk about this situation to anyone else outside. Yeah. So, so all of your kids now is with your with uh, with them and uh, with them. my elder three is supposed to go to school right but uh, since uh, th their last day of the school was on 19 January yeah. which was a Friday mm -hmm. then uh, these things happen over the weekend mm -hmm. which is 21st right mm -hmm. since 22nd January till now mm -hmm. today is the fifth week my elder three kids are not in the school they he totally deprived their education right okay so so yeah. where are they now i think because you think uh, okay he blocked me from his parents mobile my two kids elder two kids mobile uh -huh. and the original helpers all got sacked Mm -hmm. There's uh, no old helpers. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they got the new helpers. Okay. Yeah. And uh, only one uh, old driver left, but I can't contact him as well. Okay. Uh, so basically, I have um, no channel to lost check contact, lost whether. Contact. Yeah, lost contact, lost totally. Contact. Mm. So, last almost five weeks, this is week five, mm. right? I haven't heard anything about my kids whether they are okay where they yeah. are about yeah. uh, whether they are changed the school or yeah. what yeah. yeah so last friday when i heard that uh, the key the baby gonna have a vaccination mm -hmm. there that's why i rushed down there mm -hmm. and uh the police said uh they can't interfere when i uh, ask for the help mm -hmm. because we are foreigners but also we are equally have a rights to take the kids yeah yeah, yeah. That's why I try my chance. I should try my chance, yeah. right? And the thing is, my newborn baby was yeah. two months, two weeks old, and now it's a four weeks, a uh, four month. They need you. Baby needs me. Baby was uh, the moment she was born until now. She was with me, <laughs> and she was uh, happy with me. I have a 
photo with her every day and every day when she smile I choose a photo and I share with him and he know oh, sorry I'm sorry it's okay take your time <sighs> oh you're a very 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 strong woman eh? you can be patient on this situation and try it to set up yourself right now. I mean, it's very, very... I'm the mother of four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How can I not strong? Right? So, that's why I try my chance to that day, mm. went down. And I just wanted to talk to him mm. and want to convince him, give back my kid, uh, yeah. my baby at least. Yeah. And let's talk it out. And uh, the thing is that uh, now, you know, what I want is in this uh, relationship, what I want is divorce. You divorce. want divorce now? Yes. You want to move on with her. Divorce me first. You don't just uh, take away my right and my kids. Why you don't want to do the proper way to do the divorce? What he's doing is uh, basically think that I'm, I'm stupid. Mm. Whatever he ordered me, I have to do it. Mm. No, right? So I wanted to talk it out. So I went down, I saw them came out from the lift. Mm. I saw him, I wanted to talk. But the moment I saw that woman holding my baby, I snapped, sorry. The, mm. I, the, I can't really remember. I saw myself. My brain was there, but my body already act acting. Oh, okay. My hands already went out to her to get the baby. Yeah, yeah, of course, there's your baby. I'm the birth mom. Couldn't see the baby for last four to five weeks. My fridge is full of my milk, you know. Haven't fed a baby for five weeks. That woman holding baby awkward way. Is it right? These things can be happen? No. So I, uh, in my mind, that moment, it was only one thing. That's my baby. I, I'm going to get my baby. So I approach her. Ah, yeah, yeah. I saw the video. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the moment that I approach her. Then there's a lot of hands stopping me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And maybe I scared my daughter. That's why my elder one is shouting. Mm -hmm. Then everybody stopped me. Then she ran away with my baby. So, how can I not chasing her, right? Yeah. So that's how it happened. Okay. Now, uh, you post your video uh, on on TikTok. Yes. What do you expect right, uh, at that time? What do you? So, want? okay, that day the video mm -hmm. happened. Mm -hmm. The I feel really sorry to the, that hospital because we made a scene there. Okay. Yeah, but I had no choice. Please understand. So the hospital people actually help us to, you know, uh, mediate. Mm. So they put my husband, <coughs> mistress, and the baby and my daughter in the one of their auditorium. Mm. And I sitting outside. Okay. Uh, they asked us to come down and both, both sides, we wanted the police to get in. So we called the police. Indonesia police. Yeah, Indonesian police. Okay. Yeah, so I sit down there crying, but I try to calm down. Yeah, so my lawyer, the there is uh, some uh, good lawyers who actually Indonesia help. lawyer. Yeah, Indonesian okay. lawyers. They they are my pro bono lawyers. O okay. Yeah, yeah, they are really really, you know, good people. Yeah. Okay. So they came over, and the police came. And basically, hospital people, also the director level, management level, came down mm. to help us to communicate. Okay. But my husband refused to talk. Okay. Yeah. So I request, at least, at least, can I feed a baby? Because you guys are inside there, and he dragged the time. We we are just a, a staying there like uh, about more than five hours. Seven hours. Seven total seven hours. Yeah. So I was so worried about the baby not fat, yeah. right? So about after three hours, I asked the hospital people to talk to them uh, if 
it's okay yeah. for me to feed a baby? He said, no. No. Yeah. Then they said, they have their own milk. No need to worry about. So uh, there is uh, a lot of efforts put it in to have a talk. And the thing is, uh, hospital also the victim in this situation because uh, we are affecting their operation, right? So hospital actually told us, uh, can you guys go somewhere else to talk? So my lawyer and uh, later his lawyer came and uh, the lawyers talk. So we, uh, I said, I'm okay, yes, I want to talk. Uh, so let's go to some uh, cafe or wherever. But then he, his answer is no. So, so block. So totally block, block everything. Deadlock. We yeah, call it. Deadlock. I call it deadlock. So my, yeah, the my lawyers uh, fed up. Yeah. Yeah, and his uh, lawyers also fed up. Yeah, because the situation is very complicated, which is. Uh, Singaporean, yeah? yeah, you know, you know, you're right. Korean, Singaporean, right. your 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 kids is Singaporean. Yeah. The percentage, logically. So the legally, there is a lot of limitation yes. that they can help me. Yeah, but then you know, he he's a powerful guy. He's a top man yeah. in his uh, company in Indonesia. Yeah, global company. Yeah. So suddenly. His, uh, his a company lawyer brought the police. The first <coughs> police we uh, call in, hmm? they hear it, but they told us that they, they can't help much, so they left. Then after almost seven hours, his uh, corporate lawyer brought a bunch of uh, police, hmm? Hmm. then told us that they're gonna leave with the police. Yeah. Police uh, escort them. So y you cannot do anything. So I was like, really, this is right things. <coughs> so my lawyers went in <coughs> and talked to them. Then came back to me and said, finally he agreed. Yeah. yeah. To let me see the baby. Baby just is singing the baby's face okay. for five minutes. Oh, uh, we hear all the stories. At least you can share to all the people in Indonesia, and then a lot of Indonesia people uh, will feel very, very empathy about about your situation right thank now. Thank you, thank you. I saw a lot um, of comments in TikToks. There's so many people take me to contact you, which is uh, at the first. I'm not really want to contact you, but I don't know why. Yesterday, my wife mm. meet your friend, and then. Tell me the story, and then mm. I don't know which is is it God or no, mm. but I hear from deep uh, from my heart, help her. Thank you. So right now, what I've seen about your situation is very very complicated, which is because of the uh, situation. Yeah. Uh, now you went viral. Yeah. What you want with this viral? Yeah, I went for public, uh, exposed myself yes. and my story. This uh, media exposure was uh, my last, last, last result because it's family issue and yeah. I don't want these things affect my kids. I really don't know, want my kids to know every details. Friday, that things happen, and I'm crying, and the police actually escort them. And my baby, I saw the baby. They put the desk between me and him holding the baby. Then the police bring them down, right? You don't know what you can do right now. Exactly, I asked my lawyers, and my lawyers also said, yeah, yeah, yeah. police cannot help. Uh, we study about your situation and we have to say, we, we're looking forward which which way we can do. Mm -hmm. But right now it's very, very hard because of the situation. And then you're not Indonesia. And then the mistress, which is, is, is Indonesia. So the this public city, I hope 
this viral <coughs> can actually let the police and some Indonesian institution to know about my story yeah. and help me yeah. to at least get the baby or you know check whether my kids are safe. I have no access to my kids. It doesn't make sense, right? Mm. I'm the birth mother and we are not divorced and I'm not criminal or I have any problem. Yeah. You cannot just cut my kids off from me. It, this, that's why I want justice. Yeah. This is nonsense, yeah. ridiculous. That's why I went to, you know, the media exposure and telling the people my story. So if any institution can help me to take on the kids, and if I can get back my babies, I want to go back to Singapore and do the divorce. And I, I just want to Clear do everything clearly and legally, do it properly. I don't want to fight with him. In this way, he snatched kids and I snatched the kids. At the end of the day, the kids are the one going to get hurt and broken. I don't want that. Yeah. I, at the end of the day, he is the father of the kids. I'm the mother of the kids. You cannot just erase the one of us, yeah. right? Yeah. So I want to get my kids, go back to Singapore, divorce properly everything legally properly yeah. and you move on i move on that's what i want okay i get your point mm. so this is your last chance being viral yes. this is your last chance right. that you bet on it yes this is my only option now yes no other options and you're hoping that indonesia yes do your magic exactly you know I, my best friend, uh, my school time in Holland, she is Indonesian. I have very good Indonesian friends. Everybody has a kind heart, really have a kind heart. So I never thought I'm going to have a, this kind of experience. Because when I came down here, my friends are Indonesian and my favorite food back in the, the Holland study time it's Indomie. So I just thought that I'm going to have a good time and happy time here. Yeah. So these things happen. But then now, you know, whole Indonesia, friends, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't reply every comment and message. But, you know, the other day I... The, the messages that you guys uh, sent me is so heartwarming. And every mommies, they pray for me and kiss the, the words that you gave it to me. It was, it means a lot to me. I holding on to the comment that night and cry for a whole night. That's why I saw the hope there. I saw the hope there. So using this chance to say thank you to all the people in Indonesia who are supporting me now. I'm the mother. Yes, I we going through this. I we pro through this. Please just help me to get back my kids here. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thank you. Then, yeah, Indonesia, do your magic. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you banyak for sharing. Ooh, I have a feeling. You will get the good things after this. I really, yeah, really wish. because what happened right now, I have to say, you have a good husband, was was a good husband before, and then basically on my evolution by your story, mm. yeah, it's just like a, you know, situation that right now your husband need to clear his mind. I used to a bad boy. And I'm play, a playboy, but when I when I married, when I, when I married my wife, I I always think be a man. It's not only being responsibility about having, giving money to my wife or be responsibility to the kids, but be loyal. Yes. Because our God is loyal. So every loyal man will be loved by his God. And I believe if 
he watch this movie his heart will think about this thing and i hope a good news after this i hope so, so. yeah thank you thank so you. much